Yo, today I'll break down exactly how much you'll have if you invest $1 per month all the way through and up to $1,000 per month and how much income you need to be making to invest each amount. Some people think $1 is too little to be even be allowed to invest, but that's a lie. Today there are tons of easy, fast investing services you can reach right from your phone and get investing today with as little as $1. The secret that a lot of beginners don't understand is that you can afford to invest in the most expensive companies in the world with one secret. This power is ours through the magic of fractional shares. Many, if not most, of the major investing services allow you to cast this spell on small amounts of money and get your investing life started. We all know that investing just $1 per day is tiny. So how much can that tiny little amount grow over time? Well, if you invest just $1 per month every month for 30 years in the average total stock market index fund, you'll have $1,714. You only put in $360 and all the rest is all profit. To be able to invest this much, you don't even have to have a job. You can search through couch cushions, or the floor of most world buildings and come up with more galleons than you need. $50. As we grow, so does our power, and we learn to cast stronger and stronger spells by investing more and more money. $50 per month invested the same way as last time would result in $85,719 after 30 years. To be able to invest $50 per month, the average person would need to be making $30,000 per year. And that's because most people save and invest only two to 4% of their total income. It's 100% possible to save and invest more than the average wizard, you just have to determine early on that that's your priority. $250. Once you've reached kind of the OWL level, it's time to get more serious and invest in your future. $250 per month is starting to be serious amounts of gold, and you'll have to contact the good goblins down at Gringotts to set up an automatic deposit so that you don't forget to invest it. Not all of us have Remembrals. But after 30 years of investing, you could easily afford to hire someone to remind you since you'd have over $428,000. Goblins would probably have to put you way down low in one of the bottom vaults for that much. Investing less than this would likely earn you a poor, a dreadful, or a troll score on your OWLs. But investing $250 or more is worth at least an acceptable, if not an exceeds expectations. But to be able to afford to do this, most people would need to be earning $150,000 per year. That's only at a 2% savings rate though. You don't have to be like most people, but that's the amount that most people are actually able and willing to save. And that's the reason that I make these videos is to help you do better than the average bogey flicker so that you can save and invest more wisely than the average person. So subscribe or I'll hex you. Just kidding. $600. To achieve an outstanding, we're gonna to have to significantly increase our skill and our wizardry with money. We're now talking about crushing the NEWT levels. Nastily exhausting wizarding test. For us to get that serious and to be as wealthy as half of a Malfoy, we've got to start investing big dollars, big galleons. Investing $600 per month would for sure get you gallons of galleons, like the Weasley twins advertise. Over a million to be exact. One million, $28,000 after 30 years of investing at 600 bucks a month. Now the average person with their measly 2% savings rate would have to make an obscene salary to be able to invest this much. $360,000 per year. You'd better be selling all kinds of black market goods in Nocturne Alley to wrangle that kind of coin. Or maybe just sell a lot of joke wands and love potions, like a lot. $1,000. $1,000 a month is a large amount of money, but to be amongst the most powerful wizards in the world, we have got to do it. We've got to get into that four figures per month club in how much we invest. We're talking about at least $1,000 a month every month for 30 years. Doing exactly 1,000 isn't Avada Kedavra powerful, but it's plenty powerful. If you did that, you would have amassed over $1.7 million. That makes Triwizard Tournament winnings look like a few knuts laying here and there in the gutter. But it takes some serious earning power to get there. Most people with their tiny savings rate would have to be making $600,000 per year to save and invest that much. But please stop. Don't be discouraged thinking that you'll never be able to invest that much. You can. The average person who follows a few small but significant steps can hugely increase the amount they invest over time. You can move from 2% per year starting to 10 or 20 or even 30% in just a few years. If you're intentional, if you're driven, if you're bound to determined to become one of the wealthiest wizards in the land, you can do this. Just as an example, if you were able to invest 30% of your income instead of the 2% like most people do, you would be able to hit that magical $1,000 per month number way sooner. You wouldn't have to be making $600,000 per year. You could be making only $40,000 per year and still invest that much. That's the power of these strategies that are in this next video that you should watch now so that you can learn how to do that, up your power, learn some new spells, and get 
your magical galleons growing. Gallons of galleons. Also, if you're sick and tired of watching little YouTube videos here and there and trying to piece together the world of investing and what you should do with your life and your money, I've got an investing class that I've made just for you that's in the description. I want you to learn how to do this. This is such an important life skill, especially if you're young, to get this nailed right now as early as you can. So check out the link in the description for my course. Watch this video. All right, see you next time. Bye.